The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. Howdy folks, Joe here with The Turtle Room. Uh, part two of our Spangler Eye or Black Breasted Leaf Turtle Vivarium build. Um, here we have all six tanks set up. All have been drilled and bulkheads installed. They all have the false bottoms installed. So right now what we are going to do, well, also on top you might see some nozzles there for the misting system. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take measurements of the exposed portion of the back and make a background for it. Alright folks, so we're ready to start the background. Now with the Exoterra tanks, you'll notice that, at least for those who have used them, they come with the background. That's what we're looking at here. This is a styrofoam background. Um, they can be used as it is or they are also easily modifiable. We have chosen not to use these in this current build uh, as they will be used elsewhere in future builds. So what we're going to be going with, um, I know that there are many different opinions and options that you can go with. There's the expanding foam, there's also clay. We're going to be using EcoWeb and Spira. Now EcoWeb, this product here, is very similar to say a coarse scrub pad for your kitchen. Um, it is plastic, uh, plastic strings that have pretty much been bonded together with a, uh, a resin. This is a synthetic growing media, primarily used for orchids as well as other plants that do not need um, to be planted. The only downside with this is it does not hold too much water, but it does allow great airflow. So on top of that, we're going to silicone on Spira. This is a woven fabric, another synthetic growing material, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that is used to wick water up. So this is a very, very, uh, Loose, uh, loose fabric, while this is rather dense and, you know, tough. Um, so this is going to be able to grow our mosses nicely, as well as accommodate other growing plants and other plants that we can actually mount onto it. So we're going to attach the Spira by silicone to the EcoWeb, and then I will get back to you once we have that started. All right. We have cut all of the uh, uh, EcoWeb and the Spira. Uh, surprisingly, the EcoWeb was rather dense and hard to cut through, but we made it through. Now, we've got these six sheets, and if you look right here, we've got the EcoWeb on the bottom, we've got the Spira on the top. These two are going to be siliconed together. And we are going to take care of that now, and once that cures, I will get you guys back here and uh, show you the next date of the or at least the next stage of the plan for our background. Hey folks, so we finally have all of our materials in for the background. Um, last video we completed the the base of the background. Now the driftwood, these rocks, and the cork are all going to be embedded into this background and silicone to the back of the tank. Now with that being said we have some uh, cutting to do obviously of the background, but these rocks are foam they are created by Vivarium Works. I'd go check out his stuff. It's absolutely fantastic, reasonably priced, and he has a plethora of options and colors that you can choose from. Um, we've got driftwood and we've got some cork bark. So I will uh, start designing the layout and I will show you guys how I plan to do everything here. Thanks. Howdy folks. So we've got one background uh, placed in. We made some cutouts. We've layered some fake rock in, some driftwood. Um, and now the point is to start siliconing all of this in. Once everything's said and done, the black background's are actually going to be covered in mosses as well as uh, binding plants. So we are going to repeat this process another six times with uh, obviously different patterns, things like that. So to give every uh, enclosure an individual look. So um, yeah, this is number one. We'll get back to number two. Hey folks, so um, we finished all the backgrounds. We have installed all of them. Um, they're all siliconed in place. They are all looking good. The next step is going to be putting substrate in, uh, setting the lighting up, as well as getting the MISM system up and running. And uh, yeah, getting things planted. So we will get back to you once we start that. Hope you guys all enjoyed this little build. Um, any questions, please do let me know. A lot of the products that we used are um, 
easily, easily available to a lot of, uh, just about anybody here in the U.S. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This has been a production of The Turtle Room.